All units, we're getting alarms from the Ravencroft Institute. Can anyone respond? Over. Dispatch, we got our hands full with the Blackout and Oscorp. Cannot respond. Repeat, cannot respond. I better get over there now. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we could do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent in some task force guys to evacuate, but they're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. How did it get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Both the staff and the non-violent inmates are in a bad spot. I've got to get those people out. Jill's affected my web shooters. Let's see this again in slow motion! Not so bad, so fast. Get me out of here. Glad to help. Now get as far away from here as you can. I prefer to give you individual attention, but I'm really busy. Just for you. will get you out. Don't thank me yet. You need to get to safety.
out my marshmallows. Oh. Mm. They say he's the hero of his own story. Yeah, but come on, I'm the hero. Mencken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. Don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Perhaps with fire, or intense vibrations. It's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> Symbiotic relationship. More! Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve, but then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. <laughs>
Okay, I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. Duty security. Wonder what they had here. I get the feeling something seriously wrong was going on here. I call this the seismic blast. You can call it lights out. Target acquired. Too many shots that time. Electrical equipment, burn marks. I bet this is where they held Max Dillon. I get the feeling there's something behind that wreckage. Seismic Blast, is there anything you can't make better? Stay out of that water, or I'm gonna get one heck of a jolt. The Venom Project. Huh, great. Why is it never the Puppy Project, or the Chocolate Project? <laughs> Gotta stop Cassidy before he makes things even worse. Let it in. Then you'll be like 
me. What on earth is that? Actually, it doesn't look like anything from Earth. I've never seen anything so horrible in my life. I have a growing family, So many mouths to feed. I think I'll feed them you. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. My friend is hungry. It wants a nice fat spider to munch on. You rejected my gift. But I have another one for you. Death. All the voices in my head agree. That's as far as you go! One of you is already too many! I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm... Carnage! You're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate. But you're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking. But I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you. Whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death. But what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only- Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you kill to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth, the secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did? End those criminals forever? That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. And you shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death.
back to the action. the answer, Cletus. None of us are going to find any answers here. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben, he was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So, why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. Oh, you can rely on me, Mr. Mayor. 
I consider it my honor to provide any help I can. What happened to young Osborne is tragic. But never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, with the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah. Goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. What happens now? Now, the real work begins.